Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I am going to get into some winter DIYs. I will be using the new IOD Christmas transfer in this video, just a little bit. And the weather outside has gotten really cold here in North Georgia, so it's helping me get in the winter mood. So if you wanna see what I do, stick around. So for project one, I just grabbed this handmade wooden bowl from the thrift store. It had some varnish that was failing on it. And after I washed it with some soap, it, it didn't really separate much more than this. So I knew that I needed to paint this one. I was not willing to sand it down. So I got out my black DIY paint in the color Little Black Dress and did two coats of this paint on the wooden bowl. My idea was to go for some darker colors to get my booth looking more winter. And I'm really loving how this black looks with both white and natural wood. I just, I just love the look of natural woods mixed in with colors and whites and blacks for the Christmas season. So I'm just gonna work with black mainly in this video. So after two coats, you can see it dries much lighter because it is a clay-based paint. And I, after it is dried, I put the second coat on. And since this is a clay-based paint, you do need to seal it in. But the great part is it is a water-soluble paint. So you can just take a wet rag, you can distress back the, the parts that you want where I wanted the wood to kind of come through and I am not making dust inside my home. It was like upper 30s in my North Georgia world this week. So I did not want to go outside to sand. So I was very thankful to be able to wet distress. After that, I put a top coat of Big Top and here's the bowl. Now I did work a shift in my antique booth this past week and I'm noticing that a lot of black stuff was selling. So I found this little container at a thrift store. I paid $4 for it and I'm going to just paint this black. It could be used as a magazine rack. It could be used under a Christmas tree to kind of prop up some of the smaller gifts under your tree. But I thought I'd just go over it with two coats of the DIY little black dress paint again. And I did distress it back with the wet rag so you could see some of this rusty, well, fake rust metal kind of come through. And I'm very happy with this one. The next project I'm going to do are just these two shelf sitters. I don't know, even know what to call them. Um, just decorative pieces. This one, they were both $4. This one retailed for $25. They were very heavy with this fake rusty metal. Um, I wanted to have that come back through, but do a layer of black over the top. Two coats 
of black paint, wet distress so that some of the stuff can come through, top coat with DIYs, big top, and I feel like it has modernized these pieces a little bit. So don't forget to look around. If you had something like this and you liked this color for a while, don't forget to look around and give it a coat of paint before you donate it and see if it's something that you would want to put in your new updated decor. I don't like to pass up a rolling pin when I see them at the thrift store unless they're trying to charge oh, way too much money for them, which some of them have been doing lately. I think I got this for like a dollar. Decided I'm going to keep the middle part, just the natural wood, and then I'm going to do two coats of black paint on the handles, wet distress them, cover them with big top, and then find the perfect Christmas transfer just to make a nice, simple, wintry rolling pin. So project number five this week, spoiler alert, this one's my favorite. So I got this from the thrift store for 99 cents. It was pretty rough and I like that the oval kind of frames it out. So I decided to paint the whole thing black, two coats, and then do big top on the top. I did end up distressing the edges with some sandpaper. I could have wet distressed, but I did it after I did the top coat. I knew I wanted to put something from the IOD Christmas transfer book in the center, but I couldn't quite decide how to do it. I looked through, maybe the house would kind of, or this little barn would kind of work, but I don't know. I was like, I could probably use that on something else really easily. So I decided to go with this bird and was just going to do some greenery around it and then was kind of bored with that. So I ended up picking what bird I wanted in the center and then my husband had gotten some old books from his grandmother. The size of these books were not exactly things that I could make book stacks out of. However, the paper inside was nice and old. So I just used DIY's liquid patina to decoupage this paper in the center. After I put a layer down below, I put the paper on top of it to kind of make sure that it would go around the oval the way I wanted it to. After letting the liquid patina dry overnight, because it really needs to be dry, and I was done for the day anyway, I took some sandpaper along the edges and got that paper 
to sand right off of this oval to make this really cute background for the bird. So I added the bird, fell in love with the project, and then had to make two more. Guys, isn't this so cute? you guys have a favorite I know mine were those cute little birds I made one and I had to make it some friends because it was so cute let me know in the comments below if this is something that you may be trying out for yourself guys I am excited to get started on the Christmas DIYs now that the weather has cooled down November 1st I am going to flip my booth and have it be all things Christmas and winter and if you want to come along on this journey with me i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell to all and let me know in the comments below what your favorite flip was today and guys i will see you guys in the next video bye